G'day everyone and welcome to this week's SFNL match of the day between Hyatt and Caulfield here at Turner Road Reserve. Chilly, cold and wet Saturday afternoon. We're getting into winter now towards the middle of the season. Expecting a really good game. Let's get around the crowd and see what's going on. Alright, we're here in the crowd at Turner Road Reserve and I'm here with... Jill. And... Desma. Now girls, who are we barracking for? Hyatt. Hyatt. I'm amongst the Hyatt supporters here. And no umbrella. You're going to get pretty wet today. We'll have to be careful, won't we? <laughs> you will. Rug up and stay warm. We will, sure. All right, let's see what the game looks like. All right, I thought we'd sneak around the back to the umpire's room here. I'm with Pete Marshall, director and the coach of the umpires, and one of our senior field umpires, Matt Marnie. Gentlemen, difficult conditions today. Winter started. Yeah, no, it will be difficult. Um, I mean, we're going to have to like watch those packs, um, like really, really watch the players because they'll be down getting into it. So yeah, should be a good day. Hopefully, hopefully the rain stays off a little bit. But yeah, Pete, do you change your style today? Oh, look, I think uh, we we just give the the players a little bit more opportunity to dispose of the ball, hold our whistle for marks. Nothing worse than blowing your whistle and that ball slides straight through, and you look a bit of a goose. Probably just yeah, give them a little bit more opportunity. But as Matty rightfully said, you know, just watch the packs. Probably get in there a little bit quicker so there's no injuries. All right. And stay away from the boys uh, behind the fence there today as well. <laughs> just uh, that. Yeah, uh, it's a uh, pretty vocal crowd. They're very passionate. It's a really classic one of those eight-point games today, isn't it, Wiz? Um, so we, we appreciate uh, the situation here today and uh, we're looking forward to having a really good game. All right. The umpires are ready. Uh, can't wait for the start of this game. We'll talk to you again soon. Skills out in the back, chance for the Bears if they can pick it up. A bit hard to do so in these conditions. Little snap around oh. the corner, the beauty! Oh. That's a quality finish from Ned McCormack. And the Bears are all over high up here. They go to Samuel Jackson. He's in the, uh, in the lead squad. Goes long in towards full forward. Uh, Jones head, he's got about three to beat. Brings it down the ground level, that's okay. Flying shot in towards goal, it's goal of the day! Maybe goal of the year too. Yeah, that is an absolute cracker by Jakey Prosser. Uh, Jackie Prosser and uh, on the left. Digging deep here now. Feed the ball out. They're going to get the clearing kick from Heaney. Drives them inside 50. They've got the mark. They've got the mark. He'd be tested for the distance here, would he? Gunning. Gunning. Well, not going to happen. Okay. Now they're he telling him to take the shot. Now where's Tom? Where's Heaney? And where's um, Backway? I'd be, don't be the two players I'd be looking to run behind here for a kick. McCormack three on one in the goal square. He's going to have to kick it, 45, heavy ball. He's given it a good ride. Oh, He's stuck it home for the goal oh, 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 So there it is out here, Turner Road Reserve here. A real close one this week. And Caulfield getting up by just the five points in the end. Almost the last kick of the day. Coming back from 14 points down during the last quarter. I've got with me now Alex Cables, the uh, Black Chrome Sportswear Player of the Day. There's a little gift for you, mate. Well done. Uh, close one. Did you think you were going to get home when you were 14 points down? Yeah, I thought if we just need to get a bit of a roll on. And in the end, yeah, that's what happened. I thought all day, you know... We were pretty even in the contested footy and they probably had the run of the green there a little bit in the second half. But yeah, once Nettie kicked that uh, check side, 
laid on, I thought we'd get a bit of a roll on, and yeah, that's how it panned out. Oh, very good. Congratulations on your game, mate. I've got your coach here too, Steve Kidd. I heard you speak at three-quarter time, mate, and you looked at the boys in the eye and said, what a great opportunity this is, what a great test. Yep. Turned out to be the case. Yeah, certainly did. Yeah, we always knew that um, Hyde have recruited really well, and their three-and-three three record probably doesn't represent where they're at. So... We've had, uh, I think, four battles against Sam's mob now, and we've been able to get them most times. But, um, yeah, yeah. We, it, listen, we weren't good enough in the third quarter, and, and a quality team and a quality bloke like Matt Ryan gets forward and kicks a couple, and it's almost turned the tide for them. Mm, very good. Six and two, going into round nine. Yeah. Set the season up for you? It has, certainly has. We've got one more next week against Black Rock, and then we've got the bye. So we uh, get over Black Rock, and we look at seven and two before we have a bit of a rest. And um, if you told me that at the start of the year... I reckon I'm going to take it. Yeah, every time, mate. And yeah. uh, I did hear you speak to your boys at three-quarter time. Very well spoken, and they're clearly playing for you. I was in the rooms after the game there with the boys singing the song, and uh, there's a lot of fun in there. There's a good feeling in your rooms. Yeah, absolutely. We uh, we try and have that every week. We, you know, win, lose, or draw. We understand that at the end of the day, these boys get up on Monday morning and they go to their daytime job, and we appreciate that you know, losing is an aspect of uh, football and sport. So we try and uh, you know do a couple of things that just keep the camaraderie and the spirits up after a loss. But um, you know, today we got to roll it in pretty good spirits, so you probably got to see us with uh, a big smile on our face. Yeah, close forward thing in the end, but uh, you got the job done. Well done, boys, uh, and to the Bears on your season so far. That's it from Turner Road this weekend, and we'll be back with more SFNL TV next week. See you later.